All right, there's a difference between teasing and then being a jerk about it. Hey guys, now after doing the Kong review, I really thought about it. I wanted to review the 2014 Godzilla. If you want a more detailed version of it, I'm going to give you a link in the description to an article I wrote about it back when the movie came out. I called this movie Blue Ballzilla in all essentiality. It is. It is Blue Ballzilla. We do not see the monster truly in full until the third act of the film. And by that point, I was so frustrated with the amount of hidden sneak ups, the fact that we still hadn't seen this goddamn thing, and that giant 400 foot tall monsters can just walk up behind people and they don't hear or feel shit until the, it matters to the story. I admit the marketing for this movie was really good. It really reminded me a lot of the original Cloverfield marketing with mysteries about who Godzilla was, what he had done, and what was going to be in the movie. However, Gareth Edwards still had not gotten past his inability to make people in the film actual characters other than bland pieces of wood. Now, admittedly, he got a little bit better in Star Wars Rogue One. He still had issues. But this one was awful because he killed off the character you actually cared about being Brian Cranston. Cranston actually had a reason to be in this movie. He had a point, he had a purpose, he had a goal. And then you removed him in, in the first act of the film and you leave us with Aaron Taylor Johnson, otherwise known as a flat piece of wood. Everyone in this movie is literally just reading off of a piece of paper. They are so bland and you don't care. All that's what I'm going to say right now. Other than Brian Cranston, you don't give a crap about any of the other characters. It's kind of funny when Ken Wannabe says, let them fight. But otherwise, that's it. No one else matters in this movie. We just get this very generic military ride through several situations involving the Mudos and Godzilla fighting with the military trying to intervene but doing jack shit. The Mudos are kind of interesting, but the only thing is their explanation of how they exist, where they came from, it's completely really out left up in the air, as is with Godzilla, obviously, but the fact that two of them just appear and one of them has been hiding underneath the reactor for all this time, I don't know, I just, it didn't vibe with me. Now, I will say that the fact that they shrouded Godzilla in smoke, you didn't see him that much, that was cool at first. And then it just got annoying. It got really annoying. To the point where he's about to fight the Mudo on Hawaii. And what do they do? They cut to that kid watching the news report. Now, funny, but you didn't cut back to it. You just blue balled the audience. And then we finally get the battle at the end of the movie. Which everyone's like, oh, cool, look, you did atomic breath. Like, yeah, that's cool. Well, I had to wait two fucking hours to see something interesting happen. The fact that Gareth Edwards kept on cutting back to characters who we did not care about when we would much rather watch giant monsters fight each other was ridiculous. The fact that Godzilla was renowned as a, as a savior at the end, despite the fact that he had murdered hundreds or thousands on Hawaii with the monsoon that he created, or the fact that they basically destroyed San Francisco entirely. There's nothing fucking left. And that he falls over, everyone thinks he's dead, then he just gets back up and walks into the water again. Godzilla had cool visual style. The effects were fantastic. Brian Cranston, you did care about until he died. But then after that, my interest in the movie literally drops through the floor. You don't give a shit about anyone in this movie. You start to lose interest even in Godzilla because of the amount of blue balling you're getting. Godzilla is admittedly visually interesting, but it suffers from the Gareth Edwards lack of any sort of character trope. So in the end, I'm going to give Godzilla 2014 a 3 out of 7. I just did not like this movie. I knew that a, there was a few people I had arguments with about this that said, oh no, it's not that bad. It's like, yeah, it, it is. It sucks. Really. It's really a big letdown. Ergo, that people are interested in the next one, I'm like, mm. I'm admittedly happy that Gareth Edwards isn't directing it, but yeah, I'll see. We're bringing Aaron Taylor Johnson back. Gosh, we'll get more 
bland wood acting. Anyway, guys, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.